How you guys doing? Josh here with Ohio Fish Rescue. So I teased you with a little bit of an ending scene credit on the last video. You guys seen we got the tractor. My buddy Brian Heron dropped it off. That means we are getting ready to dig said koi pond. Wait, Josh. All right, so as we pan over here, I'm gonna do a little walkthrough and explain what we're doing, why we're doing it, and how we're doing it. Hey, can I just interject here a little second? I want to give a big shout out and thank you to Brian Herring for loaning us that equipment. Show it uh, there. There you go. Bring it back to me now. Look, that was up and above. Not only did he loan it to us, he drove it down. What's he? Two hours away? Yes. He drove it down with his trailer and dropped it off. We've got it for two weeks. That saves us $1,000 on the build of running the machine to do this. Granted, it's a little bit smaller machine, so it might take us longer, but that's okay, because now it's, it ain't $1,000. <laughs> so thank you, Brian, from the bottom of my heart, brother. Anything you ever need, filtration, fish, anything, you call me, you've got it, brother. All right, so first and foremost, this is going to be in closed end. There's gonna be a set of steps coming down and then probably pan out this way to another step here. So on the back side of the step, you can see we have it marked with three lines right here. This is going to be basically a waterfall coming in, in this corner. We're gonna go ahead and make this a stream. Now we're gonna come all the way down here and it's gonna round off here. Two waterfalls. To another wa waterfall, down another to, a, waterfall. to a smaller stream back here. As you can see, we're going to leave a little peninsula of land to hold the form of the river. And of course, land on this side. We're going to come all the way through here. And then right here, there's not going to be a series of waterfalls coming back down into the pond. Now you can see, I put these rebars, or actually Will did, the rebars in the corner of the pond. So the pond's going to be 40 by 30. That's the general shape. We just have a square right now. By how, how deep? We all want to know. Well, <laughs> as we progress, we're going to make it more natural, rounded corners. But in the center of the pond, uh, you can't gonna talk be, while walking away. It's going to be four foot deep. So, like right here in the middle of the pond, four foot deep. Come up to a shelf, go up two foot. Maybe go back four foot to another two foot. So it's going to be two foot, four foot, two foot. So a shelf all the way around the pond, and then uh, over here in this corner. Follow me. This right here is a 10 foot by 5 foot box. It's going to be 5 foot deep. This is where the wetland style filtration is going to go. Uh, Greg and Aquascape already donated the, uh, the, the materials for it. Ed Baylou and his team are going to come out and install the filtration for us. So it's basically going to be a wetland style all filled with plants. Coming to, coming to a waterfall right here. And it's basically going to cascade down into to do the pond. We're going to have the skimmers on the opposite side of the pond. You guys are just going to have to watch to see how this all turns out. Okay, here comes Joshy. We're going to dig this, uh, continue digging this little string. It's on a hillside going up, so he's digging flat. Down. No! Father and son team working it out, working together. They're a great, uh, they are a great team together, I'll tell you. They get a lot of stuff done.
Looking good. Just doing a job on that machine. What do you think, Rich? I'm thinking that we're a little bit right here, a little high, but all in all, a good job coming downhill. Yeah. And then we'll have waterfalls to this one. Now we got to do the same again on this one to go that way. So we got to make a line right here to cut the, the ground so this don't get disturbed. Just something that machine like he's been driving her for years, huh? <laughs> he learns quick. Yeah, he does. Now it's higher, lower, lower, lowest. We're going to drop down and go here, and then we'll make it the lowest over there. Stream, waterfall, stream. Nice. It's yeah. going to look pretty. Breaking ground with the koi pond here at OFR, getting it done. It's going to be beautiful back here. That pond is going to be massive too. They have the corners marked out there as you guys might be able to see with the rebar. It's going to be a pretty massive pond back here. Let me start right here. Go on this side. Just gave it a trim. It's a beautiful machine. It just don't have the weight it needs to first move, you know? Yeah. But it will we will get the job done with it. Absolutely. It makes me want one. We always get the job done here at OFR Rich. Alright everyone, so you see we have a hole being dug right here. So this is for the wetland style filtration. The hole is essentially ten foot long, five foot wide, and five foot tall. We've got this side pretty much dug out to where we need it. We are still working on that side. I basically have to dig out just that corner and then come in and clean up the, the sides. And then basically what's gonna go in this hole, you can see over here, we have a 20 by 17 liner. That's basically going to line the, this hole and it's going to be basically a hole in the ground with a liner in it. And then we can go ahead and put the centipede in the bottom, which Ed Baylou's coming out either next week or next month. I know it's not very specific, but it's up to him whenever he's got free time to come out and hook it up. So then with all this happening, and you know things always change on the, the fly, we were sitting here digging the wetland filtration and we realized we couldn't really do the river system like we were planning so there's a change of plans we have two 6,000 gallon per hour pumps that are going to be pumped through this wetland style we're going to have a skimmer on the back side one on each side of the pond plumbed all the way around a 6,000 gallon per hour pump in each uh, skimmer coming through the wetland style filtration and then going to the river basically i told you before it was going to cascade down back here well now we're turning it sideways and it's now going to basically cascade out where the tractor is and we had talked about a river going this way circling around and coming back down this way and then cascading down we are now basically going to do a wider like three or four foot stream a deep stream and it's going to cascade down as it comes over here and then turn into the pond right before the steps so this is going to be a different look for sure but that means we've got more room to do a hardscape across the back of the pond and of course the front of the pond here do all what water plants in the stream and this will basically be biological and mechanical as well as 
being a little bit artsy with the uh, the waterfall coming back to the pond. All right, guys. Josh is finishing that little bit of digging left. It's a nice, handy little machine. It's way deep in there. You just got to clean up that corner, two corners over there. He's doing a good job. We got the big machine coming on Monday, so I'm going to try and find people to watch Tracy so that I can be out here and driving this machine, taking the dirt away as he's digging the hole with the big machine, and I can be dumping it over here where we're dumping all this. We're going to make this all level, all the way across here. See that high point right there? Let me see in the picture. That there is how high we need the, the ground to go, all the way over to level over here. And then we can dig, you know, all that four foot of this 30 by 40 is coming out and going all the way over there, leveling that whole thing and, you know, making it nice and then recapturing some of our land over here. Let me walk over and I'll show you. We started throwing some dirt over already just to give you an idea, but right now this river had eroded away it used to be over here now it's moved over so we're cutting them two trees off right there we're going to keep pushing dirt over here and reclaim a bunch of our land like i did over there that was back 20 foot we gained 20 foot of land here and same thing here i'm going to do because we don't need this flat area down there we're just going to fill it in with dirt with all the excess dirt from the the pond and then you know level all this out you can see how the yard keeps going downhill the whole way, even over here. So now, yes, and that's all the pond supplies that Greg gave us. Greg Woodstock, the pond guy. What a guy. Um, so we're getting ready. That's the centipede that has to go down in. So I can see if I'm pointing at it right there. And the, uh, uh, the snorkel. All three of them black tubes there are going down in that, that hole. So, and then there, of course, there's the liner. There's the uh, underlayment. Those are the, all the aqua blocks there. So, let me get up here and get a different angle. Now, mind you, this is a couple days, you know, ago to you that you're watching right now. But you can see out there, the whole yard just goes downhill all the way. So, but this pond will take up a good, good majority of it. Now we're going to build up that side about two foot. This side here we're going to leave level. And then, you know, the wetlands filter is going to be up here, but you're not going to see that. It's just going to be looking like another pond with plants all over it to a stream running the waterfall into the, the pond. So I think it's going to look real nice. Just, you know, as with any job, the more you work you put into it, the better it'll come out. So... Now you can see how far down that goes over there. So basically connect the top of that pile to the top of this pile. And that's what we're filling in. And the same thing out this way. But you can see the yellow markers. That's the other corner. This is this corner. There's a piece of metal that over there somewhere so I can't see it. And then the other yellow markers by Josh. That's the outlines of the big pine. But yes, that's square. But that's the 30 by 40. So that's gonna be four foot deep but we're gonna round off the corners and like maybe do a kidney area, you know, just a natural lines, not straight lines like this. We just marked off the outer 30 foot by 40 foot. And then I've been filling in, when Josh gets tired, I take a break, I, I get on the machine and I fill in all these tracks that we had, you know, made last year from bringing that big uh, machine in here and start filling in here. But I don't need to fill in over there because that's gonna be dug up, so. Look at that pile he's getting. He's doing a good job. He's a good boy. And uh, right now I've got one of Tracy's friends over here watching her so I can at least come out here for 15 minutes and you know, help Josh. We had the river overflow last week. It rained so hard all at once. It, I, as a matter of fact, I'll, I'll see if Josh can insert the clip of it here. This is what you're seeing now as the river and then this is the river that overflowed my son says the water don't get that high on that side of the river well if you can see right here i don't even see our bridge going across the river it's up over the bridge there's all the way into our backyard going up the other side of the hill our property line ends up there there's our pond right there this little mound is what keeps the water from ever washing our fish away 
but there's the water all the way across. This was our fire pit. This was a little tiny creek right through here. Yeah, that's crazy, ain't it? So, right here, there used to be a bridge right there. The river took out that whole bridge. It's gone. And that bridge was made out of tree trunks. Three big tree trunks that went across. And then we put plywood on it. And that water just took all of that away. And you can see where it's washed tree trunks from our neighbor's yards through our yard. Took out all of our fire pit. And then there's trees and stuff hitting the neighbor's trees. So, that water was, uh, it was very, uh, I'd say turbulent and powerful. And you can see our other pond there. So that, that mound, I made that mound all the way around it so that the water, when it does fill up, never takes away our fish or fills up or washes away fish or any of that. So that's, in there's bass, bluegill, crappie, frogs, you know, turtles, and a bunch of cattails. And you can see some bamboo behind it, arrowheads, lily pads. I mean, it's just mostly all plants. We need to get in there and cut cut back some because you really can't see much water except for you know 10 foot around the side and you can't see it from here anyway but we used the machine and we took out this big rock see that rock right there we took that rock that was in the ground sticking up out so now we can move our fire pit anywhere we used to have the fire pit right where the rock was sticking out so i didn't have to worry about mowing around it and now that the rock's out we're just going to use the machine take it away and you know I don't know. We'll probably have the fire pit now up here on this side by the new pond. We'll have like table and patios or table and chairs on a patio by a fire pit. You know, something up here. The reason I had the fire pit over there was to give us more reasons to go on that side of the yard and use it. You hardly go over there. Um, we put that swing in on that tree. It's an 80 foot swing. And then we had the big fire pit here and, uh, you know, the pond. But. I hate taking away features and going over there to make the land more useless, but I can't mow it as of now because I can't get the lawnmower over with no bridge. So we're going to have to redo that, but that's not a priority before winter. This is a priority, getting this pond done. Alright guys, if you guys liked today's video and you guys want to continue to see this pond being built, it's probably going to be a three, four, five part video but it is all coming together in the next few weeks. Yeah, it is. You're gonna see what we've taken and learned from Greg Whitstock, put into a pondscape, and it's all gonna come to life. And you'll get to see Ed Bailu and uh, Aquascape, maybe even Greg himself come out, help install the wetland style filtration, and then we'll have a big, beautiful koi pond. Until then, stay fishy, and I'll catch you later.